Dante's Discussion. Welcome back to another edition of Dante's Discussion. That's right, I'm back with another Dante's Discussion. Questions for Dark Souls 2 for you to put your answers in the next answers portion of the video. Um, but the question is interesting, at least to me, especially to me, because it's not something I do often. But is it worth it to parry? Just that simple. Is it worth it? Um, I normally say it's not worth it to parry. Normally. Obviously, there's parts where the only way you're coming back from a fight is probably a parry. Or you just have to play wait and see perfect for whatever amount of time. Usually. Now, obviously, it's not 100% how that works. But is it worth it to parry? I know someone like Lord Relic, which I commend him and hate him for doing this. He'll be winning a fight pretty handedly. Like, he'll have more than half his life left. The, next per the person will have about one hit left. Even, like, a knife throw left. And he'll go for parries. And he'll risk losing the match just for the parry. I hate that. I freaking absolutely hate that. I don't... I, it's like, you know, I know, I understand. And I am definitely a person who doesn't think winning is everything. But you're at that point and you just can't... You just won't do it. Just kill them. You don't need to parry. Why? Why, Lord Relic? Why? But is it worth it? When is it worth it? Uh, I, I will definitely say this. It is definitely worth it to try to parry, I would say, in the beginning of a match. Or closer to the beginning. Where, you know, if you mess up, it's not the end of the, the match. I mean, obviously, this depends on the weapons they have. Like, uh, you know, a buffed up, um, you know, a buffed up Chaos Blade. Two-handed. If you mess up, it's possible that's half your life right there. You know, at least two hits on you. Um, so, is it worth it? Is it worth it against a buffed Chaos Blade? I don't think it is. But someone like Lord Relic would like be like, well, guess what? I had fun doing it. Screw you. I'm going to try to parry somebody when they have no life left and I still risk losing. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Sometimes. Um, obviously, there's other times when it's definitely worth it. When you're base you're, the other guy's tearing you a new something. <laughs> and... Uh, they have basically all their life. You have no life. Parrying, you know, it's even happened to me where I'm just destroying somebody. I get parried. I get climaxed. I lose. It happens. I mean, it was my fault. I can't really complain. You always got to look out for climax. If somebody, you know, is good enough or whatever, maybe even lucky enough to parry you. Uh, to the victor goes the spoils. That's what I say. Um, but is it worth it? Is it worth it to you? I say mostly more percentage than not on... And I've, even though I've seen some people who are good at parrying, uh, the percentage of somebody parrying, uh, well, doing a parry animation versus getting a parry animation is less than 50%. And to me, that is not worth it. Uh, I just don't see, I don't see parrying as much being worth it. Maybe once, twice a match, you go for one. But again, it all depends on the, the opponent, the weapon, the situation. That's what I always like to say, you know, a lot of things just depend on outside sources, things that are not your skill of pairing. Of course, I'm someone who's not that great at pairing, and I don't try pairing that often, but my percentage of pairing uh, and getting pairing is really high, because I really try to go for those high percentage chances that I'm going to get the parry off. Usually if someone walks forward when they're backing up, you know a hit might be coming, or... Obviously, a backstep pair is much more easier to, uh, to do. But is it worth it? I, I want to hear from you. What do you think? Do you parry? Is it worth it to parry? Um, and is there a, a third sort of uh, type of feeling you get from parrying that really does make it worth it? Now, that's, that's something that's interesting that isn't necessarily easy to explain is... The feeling you get from pairing somebody is one of, at least for me, it's one of the most satisfying things in video games, in any video game I've played. Pairing somebody, and especially not a backstep parry anymore. That used to be all right, but not that anymore. But when you predictive parry somebody, and I can't even imagine the feeling, I think I have done it like once, but 
the feeling of ultra parrying, you know, using an ultra great weapon or whatever to parry somebody. The feeling you get from that is, you know, there's not many other feelings in video games or accomplishments that are up to par with that. So maybe I should be asking, is the feeling of getting that parry worth it? In, in a PvP match to, you know, possibly losing or possibly giving your, gimping yourself, you know, with the few hits that because you missed or messed up. Or is there some other explanation you want to give me, which is completely fine. I'm curious. I definitely want to know. Put it in the comments below. I will definitely be looking at the answers here with some amazing fervor because I'm excited. Again, I think more often than not, for me, pairing, <clears throat> not worth it not worth it. I will admit the feeling is great, but maybe it's just because that's not necessarily my play style, not necessarily what I try to go for all the time. But what say you? Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, put in the comments below, and I will be back.